Hello and welcome. My name is Dan from Vertly, and today I'll be demonstrating how to create a new virtual event. To get an idea of what this final product will look like, I'm going to first begin by jumping into our already created demo virtual event, which you can find on our homepage. This demo virtual event you can join at any time for free and actually explore some of the capabilities and features that Vertly has to offer. But to focus on why we are here today and now, which is to create a new event that is configured with a banner, event title, start and end date and time, website URL link, event description, and as an added bonus today, I'll show you how to create um, a bottom banner image, which is extremely useful for highlighting things like sponsors or to add a little bit more pizzazz to your landing page. So without further ado, let's begin by going to app.vertly.com. Once this page is loaded, we'll start by clicking create new event. We'll begin configuring all of our event details, such as title. For our title event today, it'll be Vertly Worldwide Virtual Summit. Here you can add your official event website. Uh, for today, I'll just add Vertly's main page, but feel free to add whatever link you would like. For our event, this event will be starting tomorrow, and it'll be going from noon till eight, and it will be a one day event. So to configure that, I first go to the begin date, and I can either type in the begin date or click this icon. I'm gonna to select tomorrow, which is Sunday, October 4th. I said that the event start time is 12, so I'm gonna select that as well. You can also type the time in there if you prefer. For the event end date, our event is a one day event, so I actually don't need to change any settings here, um, but I wanna show you that if it was a two day event, I would just click uh, Monday. If it was a three day event, I would just click Tuesday, etc. Ours is a one day event, so I'll just click OK. For time and time, you just configure it the same way you configured the first one. Uh, we said that this event will end at eight o'clock. Next, once we've got all these settings configured, we're gonna begin by adding our banner. Click choose image and explore your file directory until you come upon the image you want, and click open. Once that's been placed, we can now add the description. So I already have a description copied and ready to go for time purposes. But I want to explain something very cool about the event description section. This event description section is a rich text editor, which will allow you to do things like bold text, add bullets, numbers, even add images, links, etc. So I really highly recommend exploring this section um, to really make your landing page for your net pop. Next, we'll configure our bottom banner image URL. This is what I was talking about as a great place to highlight your sponsors or add another footer image to your landing page. So for now, I'm just going to add our V logo and click next. Next, we'll begin by adding our event URL, which I will do Vertly Worldwide Virtual Summit. In this next section, we'll configure what type of event we're having. Um, for today's basic settings, a conference room type basically means that all your attendees, your hosts, everyone is able to video chat and video conference together. Um, if our event is more where we have a presenter and people watching, we would use our live stream option, which we can actually import a live stream from any of our partner, uh, streaming partners, such as YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, Daily Motion, etc. cetera. Um, you'd click that here. But for today, I'm just gonna do a video conference setup down here, you can see an option to change the Jitsi server. For basic configuration, we're going to keep this as is. Uh, we can go, we'll go more in depth of what to do here on our events, our advanced configurations. Next, we'll add the expected amount of participants. I'm pretty sure about a thousand of them are going to be good there at that time. So we'll add that. Down here, we'll configure when the event opens and closes. So we can. Uh, allow people to join the event 30 minutes before or whatever time we select here and allow people to stay in that event um, 60 minutes after or whenever we put that time here. Next, click create event and you will go to your newly created virtual event page. As you can see, this has now been configured with our new banner image, our title, start and end date and time URL link, as well as description, banner image, bottom banner image URL, etc. 
You can easily edit this or any of these details by clicking edit event. 